heading west, making our way from Denver, Colorado to the west coast, with a few stops along the way. We're on day three of our voyage to the west coast. We briefly passed through Santa Fe, which was really cool, and last night we set up camp here in Tonto National Forest. After a nice slow morning at camp, it's time to hit the road again. For the next few nights, we'll be staying with Mike's aunt and uncle in Scottsdale, Arizona. Come in, stranger, come here. Granger tried swimming in the pool for the first time, but she wasn't a huge fan. Yay! We're still proud of her though. <laughs> We took the ATVs out for a spin, which was so much fun. I had never been in an ATV before, so I was a bit nervous, but it was just so exciting and the views were incredible. Scottsdale was a blast. This was the first time we've seen any family in over a year, and we did our best to soak up every minute of it, before moving on towards Joshua Tree. We're setting up camp here for the week. There's good cell service, so Mike can work from the camper. Lots of space to run Granger around. And we're all excited to just be in one place and hang out for a bit. Especially Walker. You know, it's incredible how such a small space can get so messy so quickly. But at least it doesn't take too long to clean it up. We're having some very interesting weather this morning. Rain, wind, sleet, snow, some rainbows. Who knew we were in the desert? Hello, blue skies. It turns out our friends Will and Alicia are here in Joshua Tree, so we're heading to meet up with them. Hey guys. Quick pit stop, we gotta refill our roto packs. If you visit Joshua Tree, definitely check out the Choya Cactus Garden. The almost furry looking cactus is nicknamed the teddy bear cactus because, let's be real, they are adorable. Just don't touch them if you value your skin. Joshua Tree was great, but it's time to keep making our way to the coast. And we made it. 
We found that free campsites are hard to come by out here unless you're setting up camp in residential areas, which isn't really our jam. So we booked a spot at this RV park for the week right across the street from Huntington Beach. The RV park vibe is very different from dispersed camping, but it definitely has its perks. Friendly neighbors, as well as bathroom, shower, and laundry facilities, just to name a few. I think it's safe to say that Granger is officially a water dog now. Here you go. Our friend Brina even taught her to paddleboard. Okay. Though her kayaking skills could still use some work. Come here. Swim the last little bit. Throughout this pandemic, we've really been missing water, waves, and the beach. So spending a few days on the west coast was exactly what we needed. Now, to kidnap Brina and make our way back home. To be continued. <laughs> 